Welcome back to Snacking Around the World. I'm Kevin. This is Caden. Hi. And today, we are going to take you to the Netherlands. Alright, the first thing we are going to try is caramel stroop waffles, mm. which, I mean, I'm already in a good place here. Yeah. Uh, so... Statistically, Dutch children are the happiest children in the world. Uh, there's lots of different reasons for that. Good infrastructure, good education. But what we think is probably the reason is uh, syrup waffles. And that's, uh, that's what we have here. This is the national cookie of the Netherlands, the Stroop waffle. It was created in the 1840s in Gouda, the town, not the cheese. Uh, <laughs> they use leftover cookie crumbs and caramel to create the original Stroop waffle. Um, the right way to eat these, we're, we're going to cheat and not do it. The right way is to set it on top of your favorite hot beverage like tea or coffee and let it warm up for about two minutes because then the caramel gets all nice and melty on the inside. But we're just going to eat the sugar and caramel and cookies uh -huh. and, and see how that goes. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's really good. It's not as sweet as I thought it would be, mm -mm. but it's it's got a good cookie flavor and good caramel. This would taste really good warmed up and melty. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Yeah, these, are, these are pretty fantastic. Very. Well, I think we're going to stick with cookies for a little bit, which Sounds is good. pretty rough. Uh, next up on our list are Dutch Speculas. And these are a spice cookie. Um, the name speculas is actually from the Latin word speculum, which means mirror, because the designs on these mirror the images on the stamp that's Ooh. used to create them. So these are another thing that would be good with coffee. They have lots of cinnamon. Uh, they are crumbly and very cinnamony. Yes, very And cinnamon. I'm looking forward cinnamon. to these. <laughs> Mm. Not as cinnamony as a. <laughs> can't say that. Not as. Full of cinnamon flavor? Yeah. Mm hmm. There's a lot of different spices in here. They're very warm spices. This would be delicious dipped in mm -hmm. tea or coffee or hot milk or something like that. Mm -hmm. They're really crumbly. They're going to make a big giant mess all over the kitchen floor. Mm. Might have to sweep that later. <laughs> but these are. These are very tasty, and I'm glad we have a nice big box of them here. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that we will move on from cookies for a little while. Darn it. Uh, and we're going to go into something a little bit more savory. These are aged Gouda cheese crispies. Ooh. Uh, and so these actually did not, Gouda did not originate in the city of Gouda, but it was, it was named Gouda cheese because the city of Gouda had a monopoly on selling that type of cheese. It doesn't exist any longer, so you don't have to go to Gouda to eat Gouda, which is great. Yeah. So we're going to have some aged Gouda cheese crispies. Fun little guys. Thank you. Smell good. Mm-hmm. Not as much flavor as I thought there would be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're a little... I get more salt than I do cheese. Yeah. Mm. They're tasty. They're yeah. just not quite as Gouda-y. No. Yeah. Would you say they're not very Gouda? <laughs> <laughs> so, there's one thing that those that live in the Netherlands actually don't go on vacation without, and that is their licorice. Mm. So we have now some Dutch licorice bites. These are actually shaped like tiny little canal houses. And these are, nat licorice is the kind of national treat in the Netherlands, and so we are going to give it a try. So it's definitely that black licorice flavor, but it's not a black jelly bean licorice flavor. Mm -hmm. It has a little bit more subtle flavor. It's not mm -hmm. quite as um, fake anise tasting. Uh, I mean, I like I like black and, licorice, uh, and this just yeah, this is actually really pretty good. good. It's kind of firm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not a big black licorice or black jelly bean fan, but these are these are pretty good. Mm -hmm. So we talked about licorice a minute ago, and Dutch people actually on average eat about four pounds of licorice each year. That's crazy. But that pales in comparison to the fact that they eat 37 pounds of cheese every year. They have cheese sandwiches at breakfast. They have cheese cubes when they go out into restaurants. And they eat these sweet and savory cheese crisps. They are cheddar and raspberry flavors. Ooh, that you can sounds... actually see chunks of, of, ch of, of raspberries in there. These are kind of like those other cheese crispies we had, mm -hmm. a little bit bigger. Yeah. And we'll see how they are. They're they're very they're airy. Mm-hmm. They're very light and crumbly. And they do have the same flavor as the other ones. They have a little bit of the cheese, but you can also really taste the raspberry in there too. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm making a big mess today. Mm. Mm. Those are really good. I like those a lot better than the, the Gouda yes. ones. It's the raspberry that's in there that helps mm -hmm. too. I like that sweet and savory flavor. Mm -hmm. So those are pretty good. And we are on to our final treat. And we have jumped into my favorite, which is chocolate. Yep. And so this is a really iconic uh, candy bar in the Netherlands. Uh, on the front of the packaging is actually the 1897 reading board that has helped generations of Dutch children learn to read. And if you can keep yourself from tearing into it to get to the chocolate on the inside, it will actually teach you the Dutch words for monkey, nut, cat, brother, and sister. Uh, but when you can't contain yourself any longer, then you can rip in and get this hazelnut cream milk chocolate bar with a milk chocolate outside and a smooth hazelnut cream in the middle. And I am very excited to give this one a try. I am also. Mmm. I can... It's very creamy on the inside. Mm -hmm. mm. All I taste is chocolate at first. Then you can get a little bit of that hazelnut flavor. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And I like hazelnuts in my chocolate, so that's a good thing. But it's really tasty milk chocolate and a really, really creamy center in there. Mm hmm Definitely. And I think that is pretty good. Well, that was our tour through the Netherlands, at least through the food of the Netherlands. So, Caden, do you have a favorite out of all of those? I'd say I'd pr I probably like the street waffles the best. Oh, those were tasty. What did you like best about them? I liked the, um, shoot, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> they I were just, just delicious. I them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes good food is like that. You just... All you can think about is that it was delicious. Mm -hmm. I like those a lot. I can't wait to try those over top of my coffee. I liked all of the sweets. I really liked the cheddar and the raspberry cheese crisps. They were just a little bit different than I've ever had yeah. before. So I think those might have been my favorite today. Well, thank you all for watching. We're excited to be back in a couple of more weeks to snack around the world to another country. So we hope to see you all then.